there's only a couple of articles that I wanted to share with you guys regarding the RTX 5090 and the 5080 in comparison to the 40 series of graphics cards. I also wanted to let the people know that have a Z780 or yeah, Z780, Z890. I don't know why I said Z780. What kind of motherboard even is that? A Z890, if you do have one, Asus did update their BIOS roughly 24 hours ago. And I just wanted to let people know that want their PC to perform a little bit better, that it is definitely performing a little bit better, but your CPU is also going to be running a lot more toasty. The thing has been like sitting around 25 to 30 since I've owned it, and now it's sitting around 36 to 45. It's literally just hovering at 36 right now. It's literally just where it is at. So the first article is, here's our hands-on with NVIDIA's RTX 5090. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 GPUs, the RTX 5090 graphics card, and ultra compact PCB gets a hands-on. I don't know, man. When you say, like, I'm the first one to play a video game on it, you'd kind of think that it would at least show the FPS. Like the actual FPS, not the FPS that NVIDIA is telling us, okay? DLSS, and look, I know that everybody's going to be like, oh, it's AI. But listen, man, okay? AI raw performance, if you get numbers that are good to you, then does it really matter if it's AI or if it's raw performance? Like, think about it. It's kind of like going to a website that starts with a P and then four four letters later it has a H and only people that are older than 18 are supposed to go and look at that website. Like, does it do the same thing for you? That would be considered fraud. If it is not going to perform like a 4090, yes, of course, you need AI enabled in order for that to happen. They clearly state that at the event. So where I don't understand like where these people who are like whining about the 5070 performing like a 4090 by using AI when it is literally one third the price of an MSRP 4090. And if we use what the 4090s are actually going for, one fourth the price of a 4090, which rip 4090s when the 5070 comes out, that is a fact. The 50 series graphics cards, first of all, Pretty much nobody can get a 40 series graphics card, which has been an absolute nightmare for me personally, as somebody that runs a PC building business, I'm really hoping my computer doesn't crash because I literally just updated my BIOS, dude, and I don't test the BIOS. I didn't test the BIOS for benchmarking before I started recording, and I really hope that OBS doesn't crash because like I, when I first opened OBS and I swapped to my gameplay file, it was laggy. It was super laggy, but I don't know if it was like... Because it was like a fresh boot and it was rereading the uh, the gameplay file. Uh, but either way, man, the reason I'm talking about this stuff and people like complaining about the RTX 50 series using artificial intelligence for the like the the increase in FPS. Okay, so the people when I when I was at the beginning where I said like Nvidia has such a massive monopoly on other companies right now. I'm saying that because of DLSS. Let's be real, okay? Let's be really honest right now. So let's go ahead and move over here. NVIDIA's RTX 5090, and where I, because I, I might have gotten a little bit off topic. So that where I was going with this was when I said, let's be real. How many games have you played within the past like five years that actually release in a playable state without using DLSS? Dude, that's not NVIDIA. Listen to me. NVIDIA is not like, oh, hey, game company, let me help you develop our your game. And then let's release your game broken. Come on, man. Like, that's not NVIDIA doing that. That's the game developer. That's the gaming company. That's them. That's them. That's not NVIDIA, dude. Like, the games run like absolute crap across the board. Like, Starfield is probably one of the only games where this wasn't a, a problem for AMD because the game launched with FSR enabled for AMD and NVIDIA unfortunately was not able to use DLSS. But this is a cool thing that the 50 series has for it, has going for it, I guess is where I wanted to go, is you can literally enable DLSS for any video game, any game, any game that comes out. Or in other words, when Cyberpunk 2 
comes out when Grand Theft Auto's to be fair that game is going to be optimized I don't think I don't think I've ever played Grand Theft Auto where it was in a laggy unoptimized state so I'm not even going to like say anything in regards to that but you get my point or Starfield 2 or the new Star Citizen update the 5090 as the 4090 so oh so we were talking about unoptimized games so Star Citizen that game like that's going to be the future of games and everybody that says oh it's still an alpha in all fairness there's no other game that has even attempted to do what that game is doing okay so yes fully aware in alpha fully aware it's broken all the time but dude if dlss if we can go into this game and enable dls and configure our own dlss without nvidia needing to hire a bunch of people in order to configure the DLSS update for the actual game and we can just figure it out on our own and make it run well on our own computer with our own CPU, with our own RAM, with our own NVMe and make it good for our own computer rather than having to rely on NVIDIA releasing some sort of update that literally has thousands of different computer configuration, thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands different computer configurations. That's why like these these friggin' games and updates are so broken when console they're not is because console has this one thing whereas these game companies are like oh hey we need to make this game feel good on a gen 1 NVMe uh an, a freaking 20 year old hard drive we also need it to feel good on uh Intel i3 I'm trying to think of like what the lowest three 100 the most potato computer in the universe. Okay. <laughs> so you see where I'm going with that, dude. It's like, so like what, like, so that's why all these things are broken, but either way, man, let me know what you guys think about this. I, I'm really going to try my best to get one thing that I don't like. Where was the white graphics cards? Where were all the white graphics cards at CES? Where were they? White computer, white computer. Like how many freaking white computers have I built? I like white computers. It is going to be the ugliest freaking configuration in the history of ugly configurations with an all white computer and this little dinky freaking black graphics card. Because the 5090 is small. It's pretty small. It's tiny. It's, it's a little fella, which I'm not going to complain about. When I'm going to be so shipping computer. I, I actually like the way it looks. It's grown on me. I I actually like the way the big graphics cards look. Like, it's a pain in the butt that you need the GPU prop, and I and like I do get that, but I kind of like the way the big graphics cards look, because like you you it's like if I put a forty sixty in that, it looks weird now. It just looks weird with a little teeny tiny little graphics cards like a little fella, and then you put like a big giant forty eighty or forty ninety in it, and it's like oh that looks pretty cool. It looks like a boost. The only issue is shipping the computers and then the GPU prop. Whereas like, it's like, dude, like, do you really have a problem? Like taking a little prop and putting it there? Come on. Come on, dude. Oh my God. It's such a big problem. It's like people complain about anything and everything, bro. I, and I like the way the, the, the 58, like the 5090 and the 5080, like how they angled the, the power. I think that's pretty cool. So the DLSS4 tech mean frame, hopefully you guys read all this stuff. As I was blabbering my mouth. And I'm sure you guys already watched a bajillion different videos covering the exact same thing. Uh, which, is, which is why I waited a few days. Because I didn't want my video to be flooded in with the thousands of other people. Literally talking about and uploading a video on the exact same thing. You feel me? You feel me. So either way man. Let me know what you guys think about the new camera setup. I think it looks pretty cool. It does such a good job in low light. It does such a good job. And so I have no filters on this thing. Like if, if I come back here and I re-enable my filters from the Sony, that's literally all it does. Increases the brightness. On, off, on, off, on, off. It's such a nice camera. I really like it. <laughs> but I, I mean, it's another Sony one, but the old one was Sony. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and and this let me know what you guys think about this are you going to be grabbing a 5070 5080 or a 5090 i just really hope they release a white 5090 dude the only white graphics card that i saw was one from msi and it was a 5070 i'm pretty sure it was a 5070 yeah i'm pretty sure it was a 5070 but peace